Can I ask you where's the bank or where the bank is? Is the bank or the bank is? Well, we normally say where is the bank? That is a normal question, right? But when we add something before the question, like can I ask you or I'd like to know or do you know or would you tell me? We change it into an indirect question. We say, can I ask you where the bank is? That's the indirect question. Would you tell me what time is it or what time it is? Well, this is the normal question. What time is it? But because we start with, would you tell me? So we choose what time it is. Would you tell me what time it is? You answer this one. Do you know what is this or what this is? Now go to the comments and write your answer A or B. You failed the exam blank yesterday. You should study yesterday or you should have studied yesterday. Here should is followed by study verb one and here should have studied verb three. What's the difference? Well, we use the first one to give advice in the present or in the future. We say you should study now or you should study tomorrow. But the second one should have studied is used to give advice in the past, like something you had to do in the past. You should have studied yesterday. The verb failed here is in the past. And also we have yesterday here. So this is the correct one. You should have studied. So the rule is should plus verb one is used for now and the future. Should have plus verb three is used for the past. I didn't know you were sick. You blank told me. You should told me or you should have told me. Should have is the contraction of should have, which we use in the past. And here we have were in the past and told verb three of till and you know verb three comes with should have so the answer is should have or should have you answer this one my stomach hurts i shouldn't have blank too much yesterday eat eaten eat is verb one and eaten is verb three which one do we use after should have or shouldn't have let me know in the comments i will take a course improve my english so as in order to for well, we usually say, I will take a course to improve my English. But you know, guys, there are two other ways to say to. You can say in order to or so as to. They all have the same meaning. I study to pass the test. You can omit to and add in order to. I study in order to pass the test. Or I study so as to pass the test. So this is the answer. You do this one. They save money by a new house. As to or so as to. Well, follow this rule and answer. Drive carefully, blank, make an accident. In order to not make an accident or in order not to make an accident. What's the negative form, guys? To not or not to? Well, the negative form is in order not to and so as not to. Not comes before to. So this is the answer. I bought some red plastic cups, plastic red cups, which order is correct. Well, you need to know that your opinion comes before the size, and then the age, then the shape, then the color, then the nationality, then the material. What is it made of? And finally, the purpose of the thing. What do we use it for? Here we have red, which is a color, and plastic, and this is the material, made of plastic. As you see, red comes before plastic, so this is the correct order. Red plastic cups. Do you like my new expensive shoes or expensive new shoes? When you say something is new, you're talking about the age. And expensive here is your opinion. So expensive comes first. This is the answer, expensive new shoes. He is blank man, an American black man or a black American man. American is the nationality, black is the color. So black comes first, a black American man. Thank you for watching.